Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new set Dad Plus Me and its coordinating dies. This set is perfect for Father's Day but also for year round too. So let's go ahead and check it out. First up we have this super sweet moose and a little baby moose too. And then we have a bear and of course a little baby bear also. Next up we have some accessories for these critters. We have plain glasses, a glasses with the little nose and mustache, a separate mustache, and a cute little hat, and then some scene creators. We have a little star and a solid star. We have a fish, a really awesome mountain range that's perfect for setting the scene, and then a river that can come off that mountain range, and of course a lake too. We also have some little cattails that you can put around the lake in different sizes and the little cattail on top. You can see you can add them on top there. Little rocks to set the scene around the lake, and then we have dad and grandpa, and then some great sentiments to go along with it. So you can kind of stamp them underneath or to the side of the dad and grandpa, and we have, you're officially awesome. I think you're very funny. Have a very amazing day. Your jokes are always amusing. World's best. And of course, happy Father's Day. We have a little exclamation point for the end of the phrases and then an awesome dragonfly also to set the scene. Now I'm using my Copic markers to color in these cute little critters and I just love coloring in animals and I am making his face kind of darker towards the top and lighter towards the bottom. And then I'm going to be adding some shadow around kind of under his head and in those little crevices of the legs. I like letting the stamp tell me where the shadow should be. So underneath any lines, I add a little shadow. Now I'm going to color the little baby moose in the same way, but I'm not going to go as dark. So I'm going to keep it more lighter colors. And for some reason, that makes him look like a little baby more to me. And then now his antlers, of course. I decided to use some warm gray for the bears, and I love warm grays because they're gray with a little bit of brown in it, which makes them look a little dirty and a little more like forest critters. So they're some of my favorite colors for coloring in different forest animals. And I'm gonna color the bears in very similarly, where they're darker towards the top, lighter towards the bottom of the head, and then adding shadows wherever there's lines. So underneath the head and in those little lines around their feet too. And once again, I'm gonna color the baby bear just a little bit lighter than the dad bear. So now I'll just lay my light color down, my medium, and then blend it out with the light once again. Now it's time to work on that hat. So I'm just gonna use some kind of little aquas there because later I'm gonna make an aqua colored card. And then the stripe is going to be a nice olive. I think those two colors look really nice for Father's Day together. And here's a look at the colored images. Now the coordinating dies are awesome and all you have to do is bend them apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate them all. Then I like to line up my dies there with my stamped images and use some low tack tape like post-it note tape to hold them all in place. Then I'm going to run it through my die cut machine and then I'll be able to pop them out and have perfectly cut cute little critters every single time. Now here is a look at all of the images from the set. I love that there's both a scene creating part to this set and the animals and their accessories too. So here I'm just gonna play around with all my little pieces here and create some fun scenes. I just love that little lake in the mountain range. And then I love the accessories because you can line them up with their little faces and their eyes poke right through them. It's just the cutest thing ever. And so I'm just playing around. You can add the hat or the glasses or the mustache. You can play around with all of these different ones and create all sorts of custom little critters. Now it's time to start creating the card. So I'm using the new stitched mountain borders to cut both a brown and a craft mountain range. And then I'm going to cut a bunch of snowy caps for all of these mountains because I just love the look of the snow caps on top of the mountains. So I'll use some liquid glue to adhere those down. And then I'm going to layer these two mountain ranges together. So I've added some tape runner and I'm just kind of playing around with it until I get a look that I really like. And then I have a mermaid panel that's five and a quarter by four inches. And I'm going to lay that mountain range right on top. Once again, kind of deciding what I think looks best. And then I'm just going to trim off any of the excess and it's going to look just perfect on that panel. 
Now I'm going to take that mountain panel and add it to a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of peacock cardstock, add a little standard size card base to it, and my scene is going to be all ready to go because I'm going to be making a slider card. So now I'm cutting some noble fur cardstock five and a quarter by two and a half, and then five and a quarter by one and three quarters. And these two pieces of cardstock are going to form my slider mechanism. So I'll trim that piece down there and then use the grassy border die on the larger two and a half inch piece. I'll run that through my die cut machine and now I'll have this great little grass piece ready to go. I'm gonna stamp the dad, your jokes are always amusing sentiment on there, which is just so fun. And then now use one of the brand new slide on over dies. There's a bunch of different styles of tracks. For this card, I decided to use the kind of straight basic track. So I've cut that there. I can layer the cute little glasses and nose on the moose. And now I can start working on forming the slider mechanism. So I'm going to take some of this foam roll tape and I'm going to bend that in half there and double it up to create double thick foam. The reason I want to do this is I really want a nice thick layer so my penny can move freely. Now I need some nice thin strips so I cut that in thirds. Now I'm going to place my penny so I know how high I need to place that foam so that the penny can still move freely. Once I have that position, I can push it into place and then continue to add more foam all the way around the slider, far enough away that the penny can move, but enough around it so that it's nice and supported too on the card. Now here you'll see that smaller green piece is going to lay behind it to kind of create a seamless look behind the track. Now here my penny can move freely, so now it's time to add some foam tape to that penny. So I'm going to hold the penny in place and take a small rectangular piece of the doubled up foam and just add that right onto that penny. So I'll push that right on there and you'll see that that penny is going to be able to move right along in that track. Now that my penny is ready to go, I'll move, remove that little backing there and add the mousse to it. I'm going to move the penny towards the middle of the card because I want to make sure that the mousse completely covers up the entire penny. I can press the mousse into place and now you'll see that the slider mechanism is going to work and I think it's just so cool. So now that I've got that slider in place, I can remove all the backing on that foam and add that one and three quarter inch piece that we cut earlier behind it. And now that there's green behind the track, it just looks nice and finished. And our moose can go ahead and start moving along in that track. Now it's time to add the little baby moose so that the dad can be moving towards the baby. I'm just gonna add him right at the end of that track. And now it's all ready to go. I'm adding a ton of tape runner to the slider mechanism and now I can just add it to that fun scene that we created earlier and my slider card is done. I think any dad would love this because it's interactive and funny and cute and I just love that little moose moving back and forth. Now that I've used dies to create my scene, I thought it would be really fun to start working with some of the stamps in this set too. So I'm going to stamp the mountain range out in some dough ink. And you'll see that I stamped a bunch of them there, so I'm ready for lots of cards in the future. I'm going to die cut out that little mountain range there, and then I'm going to double stamp the lake in merman ink. I'll die cut that and then also double stamp the river. The reason I'm double stamping is I want the merman color, but just a little bit darker. So by double stamping, I have a little bit of a darker ink. Now that those are die cut, I can start creating my scene. So I'm using some tick marks here to let me know where my land should stop and my sky should start. And I want to make sure it's kind of partway through that mountain range. I'm going to use some post-it note tape here. This is some nice thick post-it note tape to mask off the top of my circle. I lined it right up with those tick marks that I made. I'm going to be using some forest moss, peeled paint, and shabby shutters here to create my ground, which I wanted it to have kind of an olivey green look to it. So I'm starting dark on the bottom, then medium, and then light. So now I'm going to add my lighter color and then switch back to my medium to just blend all those edges. And now my favorite part, I love removing that tape. Now I'm going to add it to the bottom there of my grass, but I'm letting a little bit of that grass line peek out so that it's a seamless transition between the sky and the grass. Now I'm adding some peacock feathers and tumbled glass inks to create my sky. I can peel up that mask and there is such a cool scene to start working with. I'm stamping the You're Officially Awesome sentiment and using one of the sentiment banners to cut that out. 
And then I'm going to be stamping the dad in the upper left hand corner there. So I'm going to add this to my mini Misty here. I'm going to hold it in place with some tape since it's a circle. It doesn't quite fit into the mini Misty perfectly. Then I'll stamp my dad sentiment also in hippo ink like the You're Officially Awesome. And then I cut a square with the brand new cross stitched square stackables. I'm just going to create a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card base for that. Lay that peacock cardstock right on top. And then I can start putting all of my pieces together. So I'm going to add that mountain range right to that sort of sky to grass border. And then add that river coming out to it. And then the lake next. I'm adding some foam squares to the You're Officially Awesome to make it pop out really nicely. And then adding some foam to these two cute bears. I'm going to add some foam to the circle too and add that to my card base. And then, of course, I had to add the little fish in his mouth and that great little hat, too, which I think makes the bear look so cute and matches perfectly with all of the colors of the card. And so here's a finished look at this card, which was so much fun to make. Now, I wanted to have some fun with this set and use it for something that wasn't Father's Day. So I'm cutting a little mountain range again with the stitched mountain borders, adding a little snow caps to the top of those mountains. And I'm going to use similar things from the previous card. I'm going to use the bear and the fish and color them in exactly the same way and die cut them out. And then I'm going to be using some noble fur cardstock and the brand new grassy hillside borders. I love these little grassy borders. So I'm going to hold those in place and run them both through my die cut machine. And then I can layer those right on top of my little mountain scene there. And you'll see that bear is going to look so cute on it. Now I'm going to be using the brand new sun and moon dies to create a little setting sun for this set. So I'm going to cut out of sunflower and fake tan cardstock. I'll layer those two pieces together. And now I'm going to die cut a mermaid cardstock piece to start creating my scene on. So I'm going to use that same die to cut the grassy border that I made. That way there's going to be a stitched border all the way around. And I'll do the same thing with the mountain range so that there's a stitched border all the way around everything. And you can see the fun scene that's already happening with all of these great dyes. Now I wanted to white heat emboss on here, so I'm using my little powder tool to make sure that none of the uh, embossing powder sticks anywhere else other than to the Versamark stamp sentiment. And I'm stamping the same sentiment from the dad card I did before, but without the dad part. So now it just says, you're officially awesome. So this is a great everyday card, not just for dad. I love when stamps can go to all year round. So I heated that sentiment up, so now I have a nice white heat embossed sentiment, and I'm layering all of the pieces of my card, and then just flicking up the edges of those grass to give them some movement. I'll tuck the sun behind there so it looks like it's setting, and then I'll add my bear with the fish to go along with the You're Officially Awesome sentiment. Now, I was thinking there was too much sky at the top of this card, so I'm just going to trim the bottom of that rectangle piece off, and no one will ever know because the grass is going to cover up the bottom part of it. So I'm adding some foam tape and then putting that on top of the mermaid, creating kind of a custom size rectangle by chopping off the bottom of that mermaid cardstock piece. I'm going to use some peacock cardstock again for a border, just like I did in the other dad card. And this cute little mini card is almost done. I added a little dragonfly stamped in fresh lavender ink there just for a little finishing touch. And I love that this is such a great everyday card. And here's a little comparison to the dad card. So same idea, but two different types of cards for two different occasions, which I just love. And here's a look at all three cards. I love that they all kind of have the same color scheme. We've got our fun slider, our dad card with our great lake, and then the everyday card with the you're officially awesome sentiment. So this is Dad Plus Me and its coordinating dies. This set is so cute for Father's Day. I love the fun scenes that you can create with this set. It's so fun to mix with the new sliders or the Stitch Mountain borders. And then I love that this set goes year round too because all of the sentiments are separate from the dad and grandpa phrases. So I cannot wait to see what kind of Father's Day and year round cards you guys create with this set because I know they are going to be awesome. So thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.